here. Dave Robinson, one of our senior fitters, is going to take us through fitting an Aussie Fire Chief wet end kit to a three quarter inch shaft engine. In this case it's a Honda, but it could equally apply to a Yamaha or even a Kubota diesel engine. Firstly, he's going to take the ceramic counter base, spray it with some silicon seal to lubricate it, and then fit it into the impeller. Next, he's going to take the mechanical seal and fit that into the back plate of the pump. Notice how he's using pressure to fit the mechanical seal, not a hammer. He's now fitting the back plate to the engine using four bolts with thread locker applied. Notice how he's tightening opposite bolts to apply even pressure. Check the ceramic surface of the mech seal is nice and clean before you screw in the impeller. The volute casing goes on top. It has an arrow which needs to point to the top of the pump. Fit the body o-ring around the outside and spray with silicon to ensure a good seal. The body casing now goes on top. Just make sure that that rim of the casing is nice and clean so you get a good seal with the o-ring. Again, tighten opposite bolts so that the pressure applied is nice and even. And use the longer bolts at the top so they can accommodate the handle when it's fitted. Now you're ready to fit the skids to the base of the engine. These stop the pump from tipping over while it's in use and come standard as part of the kit. Now you can turn the pump so it's sitting on its skids. Here Dave is fitting a three-way outlet to the top of the fire pump. This can be changed to a two inch or a three inch outlet if required. Here he's fitting a big chunky check valve and the two inch inlet. It's important that the hinge of the check valve is at the top and then the lip inside the inlet is at the bottom. We haven't shown it here, but of course your kit comes with a handle and that fits to the two long bolts at the top of the pump casing. Thanks Dave. And if you've got any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call.